It's Ronnie Jackson Mercedes. I've been here about 40 years. This is an 89 560 SL 107 body. They made them from 72 to 86 to 89 was a 560 SL. I just want to show how to restore a front end correctly on a 560SL. I'm going to jack it up, pull the wheel, let you look at the front suspension and rear suspension and explain what I did and how to do it. Thank you. Next we're going to have to pull this right front wheel. everything I painted this painted this top area we put new front rotors on it front calipers lower control arms uh, I pulled the whole subframe out and I have to move over here a little bit I repainted the whole subframe and then we put uh, upper control arms with the all new the bushings we got new shocks we got new tie rods in it we got new brake hoses on the, the whole car and after it was all down, we repainted, we jacked this whole thing up and put it back as a whole assembly. This was the front end. Now, I went back here, put the transmission filter in it and new fluid. We dropped the, the transmission frame here and painted it. Then inside here, I know it's hard to see, but it's got new flex disc in here on the drive shaft. We had dropped the whole exhaust out. I'm going to come over here. After we drop the whole exhaust, and we do have a new exhaust with the muffler, we drop these lower control arms with the whole rear end assembly. It all comes down as what they call a subframe. And we pressed in bushings in the subframe, and then we put in subframe bushings here. So the lower control arms has new bushings, and the subframe does, along with new shocks on it. And then uh, we also have new brakes, calipers, and rotors on the back of it, and new flex disc here. Then we put it on the jack and put it back up as a whole assembly, put the brake lines back on it, and then bled all the brakes. And all that is like a complete rebuild of the lower end. Haven't even started on the top end of the half, but with all this, if you want parts and labor, uh, and we do have a new gearbox on it, uh, all this is about ten or eleven thousand dollars, believe it or not. So when you buy an old SL, if you think it's going to be cheap, if you want it really nice, you're going to spend about eleven thousand on the bottom end if you want it done perfect. Thank y'all. I'm Ronnie Jackson. I appreciate everything. Ronnie Jackson Mercedes. I got a 1989 560 SL and I'm going to show you how to take the front subframe off. So first thing you want to do right here, that's for, the, that's for the shock. Next thing you want to do is disconnect this stabilizer link. This one and they're going to do the same to the other side. Front shock, stabilizer link. Now you got to take off, then you're going to also take off all the brake components. You're going to take off the brake and you're going to disconnect it from the car. Now, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to get some support, like a transmission jack or any type of jack to support the vehicle. Now, the next thing you're going to do, there's four bolts to this actual subframe. It's this bolt right here, this bolt right here, this bolt right here. Once you got that, once you got that, you're going to have to uh, support the vehicle. And the next two bolts that you got to take off before it's able to come down, you got motor mount. You got two motor mounts bolts, and they're hidden, but they're right in here, right inside that hole, right next to the lower control arm. And then you got one on that side, and you got one on this side. And it's gonna be about a ten millimeter Allen. And then after that, it'll be ready to come down. Second thing you're gonna do is you're 
back to the Bonnie Jackson Mercedes. I have our 89 560 SL. I'm gonna show you how to take the rear subframe off. Now, first thing is that you wanna do is you wanna disconnect the exhaust. So you wanna disconnect the rear part of the exhaust. So that would be from here on forward. Very simple to do, just got a couple of bolts. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna take off this drive shaft. So make sure the car is in neutral. That way you're able to spin this freely, take off all these bolts that they got. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect this e-brake line. You're not gonna disconnect it from the, from the brake part. You're gonna disconnect the lines from the actual e-brake itself. It's a lot easier instead of having to disconnect everything from here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I want you to leave the tires on and everything on with the axles and all. Now, you got four bolts here. You're gonna support the rear, the, the rear subframe, of course. You're gonna support the, the differential. But the first thing you're gonna do is take, once you've got it supported, you're gonna take these four bolts off, take off this key brake, the exhaust, once you got all of that off, then you got these bolts that are holding it in. This bolt, these three bolts here, you're gonna take that off. And you don't gotta worry about the springs or nothing like that. The next thing you're gonna do is take because you got the tires on it. Next thing you're gonna do is take off these shock bolts. I'm gonna take off the shock bolts from there, from here, and from the top as well. And once you got that, you're gonna come over here. You got what it's called a half shaft. You're gonna take off once you got you're gonna take off this shield here and you're gonna take off the drive shaft from the half of it. You're gonna take that off. Once you got that off, then once you got it supported you can come down with it and it'll all come down as a full assembly. 